Okay, guys, so let's look at how to add um, a transparent, you know, toolbar, all right? So to do that, let's get rid of this text. We don't need it anymore. You served your purpose, bro. So we need to declare toolbar. This should be Android support dot v7 dot widget dot toolbar, okay? So here we have it. Of course, we need some attributes, okay? So let's say Android dot layout hide content. Android dot layout width will be will be match parent and of course we want to set the mean height we want it to be a size we want it to be a size of an action bar okay so now the last thing we need to do is to set our id of course it needs an id okay i'll call it main to bar all right so now we need to go, go into our main activity and grab a reference of this okay so let's go to our main activity so we need to declare a new toolbar so to do that to say android dot support dot v7 dot we get dot toolbar i'm gonna call this main toolbar all right so guys like i always say i like keeping things pretty organized okay so i'm going to make a new method and call it connect controls this is where i'm going to be you know grabbing the references of the controls or elements that we define here and link them up to the ones we have in our layout files all right so to do that to say main toolbar will be equal to Android support dot v7 dot we get dot toolbar all right we're gonna say find view by id resource the id dot main hmm. Okay, so now we've grabbed the reference of this. So the next thing we need to do is to set up this toolbar as an action bar and make it transparent, all right? So the first thing we need to do is, so to set it up, let's say set support action bar and toolbar, main toolbar. And we can now say support action bar dot title. But we don't want any title right so we'll just leave this empty so let's say android dot support dot v7 dot app dot action bar action bar equal to support action bar all right so we'll now say action bar dot set home as of indicator so here we'll assign our menu image the one that we added in the meet map folder right so this is where we'll bring it in meet map dot ic menu action all right so we're going to want to make it so the next thing we need to do say action bar dot set set display home as up enabled right so let's set this to true okay so this is all we need to do to ensure that the toolbar shows up to make this transfer we need to edit our styles we need to add a new style right so let's go to our styles and under uber team so we need to extend this particular style that we have right so we need to extend it so we'll create a new style we'll call it uber team dot action bar 
dot trans parent okay so the parent will be our uber team so we are kind of extending this this particular team right so let's close it so we set an item of course the color primary we use android transparent color android color slash transparent so that's all that we need to do now the the next thing we need to do the remaining of the things that we need to do will be to you know to make the menu action clickable all right so we want it to be a case that when we click on this menu right it will open up our navigation drawer so to do that we need to override um options item selected all right so we say override on option item selected okay so we are, we need to use a switch you know to be able to do this so we'll say switch and we want to switch between item not item id okay so switch is something close to if statement all right so we're gonna say a case a case whereby android the resource dot id is home so what do we want to happen we want a drawer we've not referenced our drawer okay so let's reference our drawer our drawer layout rather android does support the v4 dot widget the drawer layer okay call this drawer layer all right so let's connect it as usual so we we'll say drawer layout equal to create a cast android dot support dot v for the widget drawer layout and we we'll say find view by id resource dot id dot drawer layout okay so back to our option item selected for this case you will now say drawer layout dot open drawer okay so this opens up our navigation drawer okay so we'll say int gravity flags dot left okay so we're going to return true okay so we need to add a default case the default case we just need to return this and we'll be fine so the next thing we need to do is to change the team as you can see this is still set to app team right we need to set it to the team whereby we made our action bar transparent which is uber team as as this one here uber team okay so let's copy this and set this here all right the last thing we want to do is to call this function all right so if we don't call it nothing will work so let's call this function here connect controls let's look through our code ensure that everything is fine okay so there's an issue here a find view by id so now I think we are done. So let's go ahead and run it. You know, building an app completes part depending on the speed of your computer and the number of apps you're running, okay? So our build is complete, so our app is going to be up and running in Jiffy. Okay, bam. So guys, you can see this wonderful guy here. It's just this and the whole place is transparent. So you guys could see this here, right? and this other place is transparent it's just um this menu bar that we're seeing so if we click it our navigation drawer opens and we click here it goes back in click here it opens click here it goes back in so normally when our user sign in their image and and their username is supposed to be shown here right which can be editable from the profiles page so guys this is just how to add um transparent toolbar so, so hope you enjoy the class guys. Let's continue.
and build this thing together. See you in the next class.